got a quick tutorial today on how to switch out this key for the bed for a sleeker button look. Uh, we love our Euroloft bed, but we hate the key. Doesn't really go with the vibe of the rest of the panel. This is purely aesthetic, and we're hoping that this little button will have a better vibe with the rest of the setup. First, we unscrew the panel. First thing we're gonna do is remove this piece so that we can get the key out. Next, we are doing the scary step of cutting the wire. So now we're gonna use a step bit to ream out this little green part. If you don't have a step bit, you can use a regular drill bit. Once we've got it built out enough, we're gonna just slide in our button. Doesn't that look beautiful? Okie dokie, so things got a little intense there. We needed all of our hands on deck, but as you can see, what we've done is soldered the white and red wire with the existing wire labeled J2. And then we, we soldered the blue wire to J1. And we soldered the, the black grounding wire to the existing black grounding wire. We actually just exposed the uh, copper wire there and kind of um, docked it right on in there. And now we tested it out and we have a functional bed. So we're just gonna do the last couple steps and Boom. So now we've put our button all the way through our nicely uh, created hole and plugged in the socket part. Uh, note that we use a little bit of extra electrical tape just to secure everything down, as well as some heat strips at the places where we soldered. And this extra little brown wire, we made sure to close that off with electrical tape since we don't actually need it for this configuration, but you know, safety first. So. Now, we can just place this bad boy back in. We're in business. Test this out in all its full glory. Good. Oh yeah. 